How is it going, my heroes, my villains, and everybody in between? Sean Ross here, and welcome back, guys, to another live reaction to my hero, Academia. We are on manga chapter number 238, and the title of this week's chapter is Liberation. That's like a weight off my chest. I see it now. All the dots connected. I gotta give the Liberation Army salute with a chapter title like that. And coming off of the events of last chapter, this is a very fitting chapter title because besides Redestro and the Liberation Army, we could also be talking about Shigaraki because with everything that has transpired with the three chapters of backstory, Shigaraki has been liberated. He has been unleashed and freed from his past. He is no longer being held back by the grip of his family. And as we saw with that last panel, he just BAM! Destroyed his father's hand and said, I don't need these anymore. But going into this chapter, all I can say is it is pure, utter, chaos right now. It is plus chaos in the streets of Daika City with the battle royale that is currently going on because everybody is just fighting everybody at this point. We got Redestro still fighting Shigaraki with Gigantomachia slowly but surely getting to their location. And then Hypocrypha is still fighting Dobby. No, we have Spinner chasing after Trumpet's campaign van. And then Twice is still guarding the unconscious Toga from Mr. Feelgood. And then we still have Mr. Compress, who is honestly just doing his best, fighting back against the Liberation Army fodder with all of the clones of Twice. It is just pure, pure chaos. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's dive right into chapter 238. And let the liberation commence. I don't need these. Yeah, we are picking up right where last chapter left off. We can see that Shigaraki is in the middle of destroying his father's hand. Father. And he's thinking about his dad in this moment. We have a panel shot of Kotro right there. Yo, wait a minute. Is he even thinking all the way back to USJ? Because these two panel shots are definitely from USJ. It wasn't supposed to go this way. He's still fast, Father. Somehow he managed to hit me. <sighs> this hero is still a valuable piece. You've grown up so much, you know? It is so nice to see our main villain of this series, the future King of Villains, getting this type of character development. This is awesome to see. He's finally been liberated from the hand that bound him. Exactly. I don't need these anymore. Behold. Oh, look at that panel right there. Him just squeezing the hand to dust. Just dust particles in the wind. But that face on Shigaraki, that demonic grin, the whites of his eyes, the white of his hair. He looks like a demon in this panel. He looks raring to go. He's gotten his second wind. He is ready for round two against Redestro. And you can even see Redestro's fist up in the air, just gathering the stress energy into his fist. And he's getting ready to just slam that down on Shigaraki. Let's go. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! No. We've got a double page spread right here. And this page looks awesome. Just look at Redestro. His Venom stress suit looks so awesome in this one panel shot where you see both of his fists getting ready to just unleash his full power and pound Shigaraki down into the ground. Know my power. Stress 100%. And yet, and we see Shigaraki moving his hand, Redestro slams both of his fists down on Shigaraki. No. But it has no effect. Shigaraki is decaying the energy away. 100% of stress, and it is crumbling before it can even make contact with Shigaraki. 
I can change that. And I love the fact too, you can see him peering through the stress energy as it is decaying. That is a really nice shot. What? First off, we've got another double page spread right here. That's two in a row. But now we just see a huge explosion coming from that stress bomb attack being decayed before it can make contact. Yeah, that was definitely 100% of Redestro stress. Just look at that AOE attack. That radius is just spreading everywhere. You know, a bunch of Liberation soldiers just lost their lives due to this blast. I mean, just look at the town. The buildings, the debris just go flying back. Two more of these blasts and Dyka City is going to be leveled. There's just gonna be no more of Dyka City if we get any more blasts like this. And after this arc is over, there is no way that they are going to be able to hide the events that transpired here because this city is just destroyed. And the public's gonna be like, how come this city is just leveled? Why is it demolished? A lot of people are gonna be asking questions. There's no way they are going to be able to hide this. Damn, that is a gigantic explosion. Definitely a whole lot bigger and more destructive than what Deku and Todoroki did back at the sports festival. And then we have this panel of Gigantomachia who is pretty close to where the explosion took place, but <laughs> you just see these fodder liberation soldiers trying to fight back against Giganto. They don't stand a chance at all. He's going to be flicking them away as if they are nothing. Man, you feel bad for them in all honesty because they literally stand zero chance against that Titan. And then we see Hypocrypha up in the corner in this panel. Run. He's leaving Dobby. He is dipping from his fight with Dobby. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. He's leaving to go defend Redestro right now, isn't he? He can sense the danger approaching with Gigantomachia. This actually makes sense because we already know how loyal Hypocrypha is to Redestro. He kind of views him as a god. So once he senses that danger, he just drops everything, leaves his fight with Dobby, and goes to protect his leader. The loyal man right there. Very, very loyal going off to protect his master. You loyal. So Hypocrypha's leaving Dobby, and then we see Redestro standing there. The smoke is clearing. Yeah. And you can see a tiny silhouette as the smoke clears. No way. If I destroy it before you take a full swing, it's really nothing special. Yo, Shigaraki. He withstood that and he's just standing there so confidently. He's like, Behold. Is that all you got, Redestro? Come back when you can put up a fight. That attack was nothing. You can just feel the confidence oozing from this man right here. He's got the stance of some type of messiah just appearing from the mist, and you have his tattered cape just fluttering in the wind. And I love the fact that he is just talking smack as if like nothing even happened. Calling that 100% attack nothing special. I love you, Shigaraki. We're getting a glimpse of the new Shigaraki right here. And I love what I'm seeing. Nani? <laughs> Redestro has the Nani face on him right now. 
He is shocked and pissed at the same time with what he is seeing. What? What the fuck? You're just big, that's all. But I get it. It's fun to destroy everything you hate without a trace, isn't it? Redestro is not gonna like that at all. He just said that Redestro is big and nothing else. Like he has no power behind his size. What did you just say to me, you have a little shit? I said I'm bored. You're boring me. My power is a means to an end. It exists to liberate the masses, to carry out Destro's will. And we see a beeping sound coming from Redestro's pants. Why has my heart started pounding all of a sudden? And we see something pop out of the debris behind Redestro. I'm calling it Veronica. Is it fear? No, that cannot be. I can change even fear into power. So why? Redestro's getting a bit shook right now. Oh, he just activated his support item. Like what we saw with Curious and Trumpet. Her explosion gauntlet, and then Trumpet's music, sound mask. This is Redestro's support item. No way. Does he have hope busting armor as his support item? Ding, ding, ding! Because it launches out of the ground as something big, turns into smaller pieces, and then one by one is going onto Redestro's body. There's no way. Does he have hope busting armor? You look a little uncomfortable, Redestro. It's because he's sweating a little bit. Rikia, and you just see it forming onto his body. And now we've got a little flashback right here. We've been living in hiding for generations. You are the one who will fulfill Destro's will. Another double page spread. And this man does have Hulk Buster armor. Horikoshi, I love you. <laughs> he gave Redestro Tony Stark Hulk busting armor. Just look at the detail on this double spread page right here. Damn, that looks amazing. But let's go back to Kid Redestro, this little flashback we're getting. And look how smug he looks. Even as a kid, he was wearing suits and you see him just adjusting his tie like, all right, boys, let's go to work. Let me just go back real quick to the previous page. Rakia. We've been living in hiding for generations. You are the one who will fulfill Destro's will. You will accomplish what he could not. Okay, so that just kind of explains how Reed Destro kind of got instilled in him the drive, the goals, and the ambitions of the Liberation Army. They basically just bestowed it upon him as a kid. All the splinter cells of the Liberation Army gathered around this kid and put that burden all on his shoulders. The amount of stress that would have given him explains the amount of power he has in present day. That stress just cultivated over years and years of being the leader. We've seen it now come full circle in this moment. Why is my stress fading away in the suit one by one grabbing onto Redestro's body? Detnerat produced Stress Amplifying Steel Armored Machine, Crestro. So that's the name of this Hulk busting suit, Crestro. 150%. My power, my power is maximum. And Shigaraki is not even impressed at all. Look at the face he is wearing. He is looking at this like, is that all you got? Okay. Full suit, bro. <laughs> and this is all while he's wearing the suit and then saying 150%. He's going beyond right now. Redestro is going plus ultra with his stress level and Shigaraki is still not even phased. Oh yeah? That's pretty cool. Okay, Shigaraki. <laughs> so we cut away from Redestro and Hulkbuster and now we're going over to Bulldozer, 
with Giganto just bulldozing his way through the city, through buildings, and through Liberation soldiers. And then off to the side, away from Giganto, we see some twice troops moving the injured. <laughs> ow, ow, you're hurting my arms. So one of the clones is carrying the injured twice. They've taped up his broken arms, while the other two are carrying the real Toga and then the clone of Toga. <laughs> Don't get too close, you hear? He hasn't noticed us yet. It's good that he's drawing the Liberation Army away, but it's too one-sided. We need to regroup with everyone while we have the chance. And now we're going over to Mr. Compress. Half of his mask has been destroyed. Why did he have to wake up early now of all times? If we clash with him now, the League's done for. And Mr. Compress runs over to Dobby. Man, I was just about to burn that ice asshole to a crisp, too. I don't know about that, Dobby. It looks like you currently are burning to a crisp with all that smoke coming off of you, all that burnt skin. Hey, what you cooking? You are stupid. Doctor, you're listening, aren't you? Warp us, please. Machia's just too much. We're all gonna die. So Compress is asking for the doctor's assistance. Are you trying to get my little John killed? Yeah! Huh? And there we have little John. Johnny makes an appearance. But the doctor's like, what are you saying? Like, I don't want to hurt Johnny. And Compress is shocked, like, what are you talking about? Every time John uses his transport ability, he gets tonsillitis. No way. <laughs> He is lying through his teeth. You know he is. But I actually like seeing this from the doctor. Like he's like he's so concerned about little Johnny. He doesn't want to overuse the warping ability. The hell do I care? Give him a lozenge or something. <laughs> and you're totally lying anyway. You've been using it like crazy up till now. Exactly. I have no desire to work with people who were careless enough to reveal their hideout to the enemy. Shake off the Liberation Army's mark on you and try again. <laughs> Yo, this situation is basically like in a video game where you try to fast travel, it's like you can't fast travel, enemies are nearby. That is exactly what this situation is. <laughs> oh my god. That is funny. Are you really okay with leaving Shigaraki to die? He's all for one successor, isn't he? That's exactly why I needed to drive him into a corner. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. And we see Hypocrypha just booking it to Reed Destro's location. He is zipping through the air on his ice, but it looks like he's stopping as he sees Giganto Machia. And then we got a brief little flashback of Redestro and Apocrypha. While crossing superpowers with the League, the one thing you should be most careful of is Dobby's wide area flamethrower attacks. So he specifically told Apocrypha to target Dobby once the fighting commenced. Apocrypha, you are the cornerstone of the Liberation Army. I'm sorry, Redestro. I made you worry about me, and he just unleashes his ice dragons upon Giganto. Be gone, fuck! Oh my god, he just slaps them away like they're nothing. Giganto just slapped the ice dragons away, and while doing so, slapped a piece of a building at Hypocrypha. Just wham! Get that shit out of here. And the soldiers on the ground are like, Lord Apocrypha! And then we see Trumpet. What is that thing? We must protect Redestro. And then we see Spinner. He was leaping to grab onto the campaign van as it was going away last chapter. Grand Theft Auto. Scream it loud and proud, Spinner. That's what he needed to scream in this situation. So he's latched on. So he's not letting Trumpet escape right here. And then going back to Giganto, close up of his face, just screams, Master's successor. Whoa, wait.
wait a minute here. Is Giganto Machia shaking in this panel right here? You got the lines indicating that he's like shook by something. And he's got a shocked look on his face. What is he seeing that's causing him to be so shook? Liberation from oppression. Free use of superpowers is a natural human 150%, huh? Kind of like that whole plus ultra thing. <laughs> exactly. I said the same exact thing. I said that Redestro was going beyond. He was going plus ultra with his stress. And Shigaraki was like, 150%? That sounds a lot like that plus ultra crap those UA brats spout off when they fight. And he's not impressed in the slightest. As we see Shigaraki place his hand down on the ground, spreading his decay cork forward towards Redestro. After enduring pain and awakening, it's almost as if he, as if he's been liberated from everything. Yo, look at Shigaraki's face. That is the look of a liberated Shigaraki, like nothing is holding him back anymore. His past, his family, those hands are no longer restraining him. He is free. He is unleashed. <laughs> and that's like ironic about this entire situation is that Reed Destro was on a mission to destroy the League of Villains. But in the end, he ended up liberating them in the process. The use of words expressing something other than their literal intention. Now that is irony. Oh, the irony at play here is amazing. I see this throbbing in my chest was, and you see the decay spreading and rushing towards Redestro. And then just a gigantic boom. The town is shaking from whatever Shigaraki just did to Redestro. And you can see Makia staring into the distance. He saw what just happened, which could most likely explain why he was shaking on the last page. Did Shigaraki just kill Redestro right now? Maybe. Loyalty, faith. One single strike destroyed and rewrote it all. End of chapter 238. Man. Another good chapter. This was a great chapter. And Horikoshi went in. Three. Count them. Three double spread pages this chapter. And the art was amazing. Horikoshi went in this chapter. It's bravo. But with this end right here, I really do hope this isn't the end of Redestro. Maybe Shigaraki just destroyed his Hulk-busting armor and then we're still gonna have our fight go down between Titans because that's what I really hope that we get. Redestro versus Makia. Because I think Shigaraki deserves a break after all that he has done for this arc because the growth we have seen from him and the action he has displayed has been amazing. So Giganto Makia, if he was in fact shaking, hopefully he now has gained the respect of Shigaraki. Like he now respects him and he goes over and says, it's all right, master. I'll take it from here. That would be hype because then you just have Reed Destro without his armor squaring up against Giganto Machia. The Clash of Titans, the rumble in the concrete jungle can finally commence. I hope that is the case. That would be great to see happen. But the wait's going to be tough. We're going to be on break next week. But in two weeks' time, with chapter 239, I cannot wait to see whether or not we find out Redestro is dead. And if he is in fact alive, I'm hoping we get the clash that we have been waiting for. So with that, guys, that right there is my live reaction to chapter 238 of My Hero Academia. But now, I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on the events of this chapter, getting to see the newly liberated Shigaraki on full display, going up against Redestro, everything we got with that. But then also, going into next chapter... Do you guys believe Redestro is alive or dead? Has Shigaraki now gained the respect from Makia to where he will fight on his behalf if Redestro is still alive? And then we can finally get Redestro versus Makia. But then also, will we get any other fights before this arc is over? Because you can definitely tell we are coming close to the ending of the My Villain Academia arc. 
Leave your thoughts down in the comments below and feel free to subscribe to the channel guys and click that bell icon that way you guys can be alerted when every new MHA reaction pops up on the channel. And if you guys want to talk about this chapter or anything else outside of YouTube, feel free to also follow me over on Twitter. A link to my Twitter account can be found in the description down below. But that's going to do it for me here, guys. So until two weeks from now, when we have chapter 239 of My Hero Academia, I'll talk to you guys next time. But remember, go beyond, plus ultra.